everybody. Let me get that very quiet music out from behind me. I uh, I set the I set the pre-show music really quiet because it started with some astral chain stuff that was really loud, and then uh, and then the near stuff was a lot quieter. Anyway, hi hi everybody, how's it going? Am I ready to robot? I sure am. Oh guys, it has been a minute. I mean, it's only been like a week and a half, but I I really wanted to get back to astral chain quicker because I keep forgetting how to play in between streams. <laughs> and then I spend like the first hour of every of every play session trying to remember all the buttons and all the things I can do. So I really wanted to, to, to hit this again quicker this time and I just had, I, I, there's just so much going on. Anyway, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. When wouldn't you be ready to robot? How is the wife? She's good. She's on a shoot right now. She's shooting a, a short with some friends of hers. Uh, I got a couple shout outs to make, y'all. So let me go back. Let's see. Oh, just, just a couple. First off, Violet Inspector 7878 donated $9. And I think I just refunded her through my PayPal because I didn't recognize the name and I didn't, I don't know why I didn't register that that's what it would be. But uh, so you're getting a shout out. And you're not having to donate those $9, so thank you. Um, <laughs> I've been re-watching your Automata playthrough just for fun since I recently decided to delete three save files for ending E. Wow. You're such a great voice actor, and Nier Automata has changed my life. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Violet Inspector. I, uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> you're going to give those back to... Well, th thank you. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't... It just didn't click. Anyway... Uh, I just realized you're in two games that involve eating ice cream. What's the other one? Astral Chain? Oh, is it, um, uh, River City Girls? The one that just came out, the, the fight? I, I, I gotta, I gotta check that out. They gave me a download code. One of very few clients that gave me, a uh, free copy of the game. So I got a download code, and I, I haven't used it yet. I haven't downloaded it yet. Um, oh, Damon X Machina. That's the one with the ice cream. Well, I didn't know that. I haven't played it yet. It's on the list. I got a long list of games to get through now. Uh, a lot of, lot of stuff coming out. Emil3361, one of our lovely moderators, resubscribed for a 30th consecutive month and said, 30 months is a damn long time. Glad to have been here for all of them. Well, I am glad that you've been there as well, Emil. Um, yes, I am also in Damon X Machina. I play Jack. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Hey, there's a subscription from DJ Music Studio. Uh, resubscription for 25 consecutive months says, Always a pleasure. Looking forward to your continued works and love what you do for the community. Also, remember, everyone, it's still September. Oh, that's right. September. I completely forgot to mention that. Uh, subscriptions right now to Twitch channels are 50% off for you guys, and I still get 100% of... The, the, or the, the same, the, I get the same amount of the subscription money as I normally do, but you guys pay 50% less, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, good time to subscribe if you were thinking about doing it, because it's, because it's cheaper. Anyway, uh, Kyle, it's me, Ghost of Alex Lee. How's it going, Alex? Thanks for tuning in. Um, I've got, uh, let me think. So, uh, first of all, one thing that I wanted to mention is, uh... There's a, uh, yeah, Alex, Alex Lee is in the chat. He's the, the voice of the male player character and male Akira in, uh, in the game that we're going to be playing today, Astral Chain. For those of you who missed our playthrough together, we played, we played through file three, I think. Yeah, because it was the file where we first met Hal. So, uh, and we played, we played co-op. So if you missed that stream... Uh, I highly recommend you check that out. Uh, I can't believe Alex is dead. <laughs> yeah, me neither. That that's uh, that's news to me. Um, how do I summon the pods donation message? Uh, well, I don't know, Violet Inspector, because I think your donation came in while we were offline. So I don't I don't know I don't think there's a way to do that. I think you would have to donate again. But I did. 
give you your money back. So you could do that if you wanted to. Anyway, um, so I wanted to mention something that's really exciting for me. Uh, those of you, some of you don't know, most of you probably don't care. Um, uh, hey, look at that. There's a new subscription from Silver. Thanks for subscribing, Silver. Appreciate that. Welcome to Hacker Clan. Uh, oh, how to send the donation link. Um, I'm not sure. What is the command for that? I guess I can check that. Uh, 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 I found it. It's this. Do, 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 doom. There you go. Uh, so, most, uh, some of you don't know, most of you probably don't care, but, uh, I am hosting a, a Twitch show on another channel called the Happy Hour Tavern. The channel is called Warcraft Radio. It's a throwback to my roots from back before anybody knew who I was, really. Uh, I was, I dabbled in an amateur podcasting network and everything. Um, but uh, I, I've i been doing this tabletop gaming show called The Happy Hour Tavern over on their channel, and it has been a whole lot of fun. Um, we're, we just played, uh, last week we played uh, a game that one of my co-hosts and one of my longest best friends designed himself and he's about to do a Kickstarter for it's called don't let it die highly recommend you check it out at kickstarter.dontletitdie.com we just played that on the show yesterday <laughs> yesterday morning um, the show is on Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Pacific time that's 1 p.m. Eastern and I don't know what time wherever else you are in the world uh, but the big news is that Warcraft radio that the twitch channel that that show is on is going to be featured on the front page of Twitch.tv every Saturday morning, as well as Sunday afternoons, every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time for the first hour of our show, Warcraft Radio is going to be on the front page of Twitch. So we're going to be getting a whole lot of new people tuning in to watch our tabletop gaming show. I am really excited. Um, if you guys want to tune in, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. We're doing a lot of interesting new things that uh, trying to make tabletop gaming on Twitch a little bit more interactive um, and a little bit a uh, little bit more visually engaging for the people watching. And I think it's working out pretty well. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, Violet Inspector just donated those nine dollars right, back professor. to me. Nothing to report. Hey, there's a resub from True in the Blue. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. Violet Inspector just donated that $9 back to me and said, please don't delete this. I was watching the earlier episodes of Astral Chain. Hal is adorable. You did a great job. Thank you so much, Violet Inspector. And thank you for giving me those $9 back again. Um, True in the Blue resubscribed for a ninth consecutive month and said, finally back into Hacker Clan. Well, thank you, True. Appreciate that. Uh, so, yeah, if, if you guys are interested in board games, Oh, or and or Warcraft. Uh, this month we're going to be playing a whole lot of the old World of Warcraft trading card game um, on the Happy Hour Tavern, and uh, and we'll be playing some more. Don't let it die later in the month uh, once once the Kickstarter launches on October twenty second, um, and then uh, and then from there I don't know we may go into some other stuff, some more mainstream board games. Who knows? But uh, but the game the the show is a whole lot of fun, and I hope you guys check it out. Uh, so, that is what's new with me. I have one more thing I gotta talk about before we get into the games today. So, uh, I did a signing event here in Burbank, California at, uh, at Game Realms, a store, a local video game shop, uh, not far from here, that, uh, that me and Alex Lee... Uh, and Brianna Knickerbocker, who is the female voice of the, the, the player character in Akira um, in Astral Chain, and as well as Koi Dao, who's a voice actor in a lot of other stuff. Um, we just kind of did... It wasn't just an Astral Chain signing, obviously, because Koi was there. It was, it was kind of a, an everything we're in signing at Game Realms. Um, and, uh, and while we were doing the signing, I, I've, I've taken to kind of showcasing some of the stuff that 
some of the, the, the gifts and the fan art and things that uh, people have come up to give to me during um, conventions and, and autograph appearances and stuff like that. Uh, and this one is really, really special. Um, so, so right here, oh, the light's going to reflect off that real bad. I got a brand new light there on the camera. Um, a new, this is, this is a highball glass, uh, uh, with, you can kind of see there in red, the outline of Barbatos's face from Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphan. The reason that this pint glass is so special is the story behind it. So, um, a fan came up and gave this to me, uh, and he's... He's a guy that I, I met at Anime Expo this this summer, previously, and he came and and brought this to this to me in a in a box uh, last weekend, uh, with a story. Uh, a friend of his was a really big fan of the show, Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphan, and uh, served in the military. Uh, I believe it was I believe it was the army, if I'm not mistaken. He um he he sent this glass to the guy who ended up giving it to me um and said hold on to this for me I want to give it to Kyle McCarley the the voice of Chief Kazuki August I want to give it to him but I want to do it myself uh once I'm back from from uh from service and uh and unfortunately uh that that soldier lost his life uh, in the service of our country. So, um, so his friend who was holding onto the glass for him, uh, decided to come and bring it to me and, and tell me that story. Uh, and I'm, <laughs> I'm tearing up a little bit right now. Tell, re repeating this story, uh, I very nearly broke down <laughs> when, it, when he handed me the glass. Uh, absolutely tragic. And, and so this, this glass is, is really, really special. Um, for that reason, and this is the first time I'm drinking out of it on this stream, so this is what I'm going to be using as my water glass today. Um, thank you, thank you so much for uh, the 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 admiration that 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 you guys show to me. It's it's really like it's it's kind of unfathomable uh, to know to know that 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 we connect that that I connect with people. Through the work that I do, because because it feels like, you know, I'm not curing cancer. I'm not doing anything that feels that important, but it is important to some people, and that it, being reminded of that is is uh, is really really special. Um, so that's something I wanted to 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 talk about. I wanted to share that. Um, thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out. On a happier note. Let's get in to play some more Astral Chain today, shall we? Let's do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over to this so I can see it on the little screen in front of me. Uh okay. So we are switching over to this. Hey, it's already ready. Awesome. I did well. Okay. Load. I've been playing uh I've been playing well, I haven't played it in the past few days, but earlier this week I was playing um, Hollow Knight. Uh, the wonders of the Switch, playing console console games in your bedroom. Can I, can I load this? Okay, there we go. Kyle, can you say, G2B, how come Commander lets you have two swords? I don't remember saying that. What's that inside joke I don't know about? Blixie just got to this part of the game, through this part of the game. You're excited to watch me play. Well, thank you. Quit getting your drone broken in the astral plane. <laughs> I, uh, I can't help it. All right, we are back. In the in the HQ here, um, I should probably check out the Legatus terminal really quick because I think we need to do 
paint jobs here. Oh, and definitely some cleaning. Uh, let's see. So I need to do this. Scrub that ish off of there. Can't see his face because it's behind my face. There we go. There's our beautiful putrid flesh and poo colored Legatus. How about our arrow Legatus? Better clean him off. Or her. I don't know what gender identity the Legatuses have. Stop squirming, you... <laughs> I'm trying to clean you. There. Jeez. Flapping your arms all over the place. It is like bathing a cat. Or, or a puppy. Caitlin and I just gave Crowley a bath this morning. And... Honestly, bathing him wasn't that hard. Trying to dry him off was a nightmare. He's scared of the hair dryer. Hold still. Hold still. Come on. Why is this so hard? Come off. There we go. Get the other hand. Yeah, there we go. How's Crowley doing? He's good. Crowley is, uh, he's, um, let's see. Last, last I talked about him on the show, uh, he was recovering from his neuter job. Oh, I can't set anything else. I can only pick Oh, uh, I only have... Mm, that's a bummer. Uh, yeah, so Crowley's been, been fixed, and... We'll go with this. No, we'll go We'll go with the default color set for, for the, the punchy punch, man. Um, so he got, he got neutered, and he, he got his, uh, he got his, uh, dew claws taken out, so he was in recovery mode for a while, and then he managed to get at some of his stitches in his paw... So, uh, that, that made recovery take even longer, but he's good now. He's better. He was running around like crazy after his bat this morning. All right, Brenda, what do you got? There you are. What can I do for you? Oh, wait. I feel like there was something else I was supposed to do before I did this. If you want to go see Akira, I can take you anytime. Just say the word. I feel like there was something else I was supposed to do. Or was that the subquest that we did at the end of the last stream? Did I already do... Like, I know I did that. Was that the only thing I needed to do around here before we went off? Does anybody know? Does he wear the cone of shame? He did for about two weeks. He's clean. He's clear of that now. I did the Lappy quest already. So, that's the only thing? Alright, so I'm going back to Brenda, and we're going to go see Akira. Who is in a giant fish tank right now, if I remember correctly. There you are. What can I do for you? I want to see Akira. We'll have to go by helicopter. It's a ways away from Neuron HQ. It might take a while to get back. Is that okay? That's fine. All right. Why is she so sad? Future helicopter. Looks like one of those fancy fans. Those ring fans. You guys can hear everything okay, right? 
I mean, it looks like he can. Come with me. I'm not sure how much you've been told, so allow me to explain. This is the Aegis Research Institute. A okay. testament to Dr. Calpert's life. Greetings, Professor. 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 Nothing on report. Place of the legions. <laughs> Dr. Calvert has gathered the minds the Ark has to offer here, to study the astral plane and work towards our future. The data you collect by defeating Chimeras goes directly towards their research. All the echo. What are you talking about? Each floor is dedicated to a different research field. This floor is where the Red Matter Specialists work. There's nowhere on the Ark better equipped to treat red-shifting civilians or officers injured by aberrations. You'll need special permission to go beyond this point. Wait here. Make yourself at home here. Just be sure not to step outside. Game Echo... Oh, so you guys are picking up the... You guys are picking up the game sounds through my speakers then. You know what? I think my speakers are extra loud at the moment. Did she say I had to step outside? It's not nice. Ah, you'll need this. Oh. Or not. With oh, hey. Pass, you'll be able to access most of the floor. Don't drop it, okay? You'll be glad to know Akira is surrounded by the most advanced medical technology in human history. Shall we? These rooms are reserved for victims of redshift and chimera attacks. Helps if you don't point the microphone at the speakers. <laughs> Crap, where's she going? I must say, I wish I were back here under happier circumstances. Ah, oh, right. I used to work in this branch myself. Back before Dr. Calvert brought me to Neuron. Before I even knew what a legion was. <sighs> I was right here, checking charts and pushing gurneys. Every day brought a new batch of the hurt and the hopeless. Eventually, I realized I had to do something more to stop all that pain. Truly stop it. Not just patch it up. Now, I'm proud to be working with you and Dr. Calvert to fight for humankind's future. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go on and on about myself like that. I didn't bore you too much, did I? Here we are. Kiloika points out the player character's legs look wonky. Look good at first. She's like reverse bow-legged. Her knees are bending in... in Inward. But thanks to Commander Calvert, or I should say, Dr. Calvert's astute diagnosis, Akira's nearly good as new. So don't worry. At this rate, Akira will be back in the field with you before you know it. Nothing to worry about in terms of redshift, either. Just between us, he's not quite as tough as you are. But there's no doubt he's your brother. But... Even then, to have stabilized it all from such a state, I can't even guess what Dr. Calvert must have done. Not to be something emotional, nefarious, but it may have something to do with the circumstances of your birth. Never mind, just professional curiosity. All you need to know for now is Akira's going to be fine. We've done enough for today. All that's left now is for Akira's body to do its work. I've got some other matters to attend to, but I think you'll be fine on your own. Feel free to take the helicopter back when you're ready. I'll see you back at Neuron. <laughs> no one in a video game goes to a sketchy medical facility and ends up okay. <laughs> Can I go in there with him? Door locked. 
Somebody said if I take a picture of him, I get a thing. That's not the picture button. That's not the picture button. That's the picture button. Oh, yeah, look, it's, it's got a thing, like, targeting his face. How do I zoom? Huh. Yeah, it gave me a thing. Shoot the door to get in. Okay. Not working. Supposed to explore the ARI. I need to help him. Uh, uh. I can't remember my buttons. Do you feel better now? I think he feels better now. I'm grateful that all the children here are so well behaved. That's... that's what you're thinking about? As a medical professional? Making people feel better Doing the job that the doctors can't do. When I'm tired, I press myself against the window and need to be restrained. A lot of people that are getting red shifted. Hi. Miss Officer, do you know Lappy? He's the greatest. We're pals. Wow, really? Awesome! I wish I could meet him. I've been in here so long, even away from my mom and dad, and I get really lonely sometimes. But I'm sure I'd feel better if Lappy were to show up. Please, let me meet him. It doesn't even have to be the real Lappy. Even just a stuffed doll or something would be fine. Wait right there, partner. Really? Wow, my very own Lappy. Hooray! Dr. Banfield should know where to find one. I know because he showed me one before. You should try talking to him. I'll be here waiting. Good luck! I think I saw Dr. The, Dr. Banfield was the guy that was like, I'm so glad that the children are well behaved while they're sick. Huh? Are you a cop? What is this about? What? A lappy doll? What are you talking about? No, I don't have one. I see. Yeah, I know that kid. So he told you to talk to me about a lappy doll, huh? You see, the thing is, that Lappy doll wasn't mine. Dr. Moreno had lent it to me. Dr. Moreno, you know, with the blue hair, it's hers. She's crazy about Lappy. She's got all kinds of Lappy stuff. The kid was so desperate, I turned to her for help. She gladly obliged. You should try talking to her. 
That bed is very large. You are correct. <laughs> like, even, obviously, the, the person lying in it is a child. But even if you put a, an adult, like, like, the player character's size in that bed, that's still a really long bed. Oh, wrong button. You're welcome. They can't be sick anymore if they get shot and die. <laughs> More quests to do over here. Are you sick? You don't look sick. I can't afford therapy. I'm an American. <laughs> uh, what a terrible commentary on the state of our country's medical system. I keep shooting things when I'm trying to pull out my legion. I fixed a child. I fixed a sick kid. Where's my gold star? Please, return to your room. No way. I don't want to spend another second here. What are you saying? Your treatment is still not complete. I don't care. Just let me out of here. Leave me alone. Someone, please stop that patient. Oh, I've got to use my legion to lock him up. No, free, man. Free. I failed. Sorry for the disturbance, everyone. Not at all. We're here to help. We all know about him and his proclivities by now. You know, if you keep trying to run off like that, you'll only aggravate your condition. Uh... Oh, I guess, I guess we stopped him. Somehow. Maybe. Didn't look like it, but... Can't go into that room. But it looks like there's sick people in there. I want to help. I'm better at the medicine. That gear. So the the so you're the legionist, huh? Legionist? Is that right? I'm glad you're here, cause I could use a hand. I was cleaning up the storage room on the other side of this door when I dropped a bottle of chemicals. I left to get cleaning supplies, but when I got back, the door wasn't working. The chemicals I dropped must be conducting electricity from the batteries in the back of the room, shorting out the door. I called maintenance, but it looks like they're booked up for a while. Meanwhile, that spill is probably spreading. Do you think you and your legion could do something? Sure. Excellent! Here's the plan. The chemicals I dropped must be conducting electricity from the cylindrical batteries in the back of the room. It's a bit barbaric, but destroying those batteries is probably the only way to stop the short circuit. First, you'll need to get the door open. Given the circumstances, you'll have to force your way in. Then you'll need to get inside and destroy the power source. It's the only way. 
Okay, so I need to switch to my Punchy Punch Legion. Pull him out. Open the door. And now I need you to go find your way through this maze of... Oh, hey. How do I do that again? Not like that. Forget the button. Nope, not that one. No! I just threw a can. I forgot my buttons! Okay, that was that was close. L? Oh, that button. Ha ha! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the short seems to have been taken care of. Thank you. The door's open, and that's good enough for me. I'll handle the spill inside on my own. Thanks again. Thank you for those of you who know the buttons of the game better than me. Okay. So, is there a way into this room that I can't get through the door? Looks like there's another door over there. Oh, I can't get in there, though. Can I... Can I use my legion to open doors? Not that one. Can I use my legion to open this door? Nope. Alrighty then. Uh, okay. I need. I still need to do. What are you doing over here, dude? Just kind of standing with your head against the wall. Not right now, okay? My head's killing me. He's not shifting though. if he was shifting, it would have given me the thing that says I could unshift him. He passed me? There was another guy who was sick? This guy? Oh, you're right! Good eye. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that one out to me. Okay, uh, moving on. I still gotta go find the Lappy doll. Can't go in there. There's Brenda. Hmm? Need something? Oh, she's the... Oh, I didn't know her last name. She's the, the one that has the Lappy doll. I need a Lappy doll. A Lappy doll? But why would you think to ask me? Uh, <laughs> ah, I see. You're looking for a Lappy doll for that boy. Very well. I suppose I can part with one. One. Wait here. I'll go get it. I haven't added a lot of things to my resume yet, Darky Gamer. <laughs> Here, take it and scoot. It's a very small lappy doll. <laughs> also, I would appreciate you keeping my collection between the two of us. I'm gonna tell everybody. What's happening in this room that I can't get into or really see much of. There's a security guy. Never a dull moment. Hmm? Oh, hey there. Oh, you have a 
guest pass. That'll look, let you look around some, but don't get too comfortable. Know what I mean? We like it nice and peaceful around here. No surprises. Where's the kid I'm trying to give this to? Back over here. I found you. Wow, you really brought me one? I'll never be lonely now with Lappy by my side. Officer, thanks a million. Hey, are you there? It's an emergency. There's been an explosion at the Harmony Square subway station, and you've been handpicked to check it out. Ellie is oh. there now. She thinks the Chimera is responsible, which means you and the Legion are up. She said it's got a few things in common with our previous case, too. Anyway, get there as soon as you can. There's a helicopter ready to move when you are. All right, I'm going. Back crack. I'm briefed and ready to fly. Roger that. Don't forget to buckle up. Get to the chopper. I just go straight in there? Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Beg your pardon, but if you don't mind, I could really use a favor. What is it? Thank you in advance for your help. This scene is off limits to photographers right now, but if you'll take a look... See that drone? It's been around here for a while now, snapping pictures without a care in the world. Now... I know we can't just destroy private property without just cause, so I'd like to find its owner and at least let them know they can't take pictures around here. But I can't leave my post. I need you to track down the drone's pilot and give them a warning for me. If I know my drones, this one has a fairly limited range. Whoever's controlling it can't be too far away. Am I supposed to follow it? Oh, I know. I'm probably supposed to do... Uh, what's my button? Not that. What's my button? That? There we go.
drones? Why would I know anything about drones? This is just a normal communicator, see? What kind of drone could I be flying with this? Oh, and then it continues on and bounces off of something else. Information display. I don't like this. There's the guy. Fame-seeking man. You saw the drone, huh? How did you know it was mine? Oh, whatever. Fine, you caught me. No point denying it. All these photos are my private property, you hear? What? The scene's off limits? I don't know nothing about that. Did you find the drone's owner yet? So you told him it's illegal to take pictures here. And you told him to stop. And he's still doing it. That sounds like knowingly committing a crime in my book. Arrest him. I wrapped him up. Great job! You caught our drone pilot. I've already confiscated the drone and control unit. The data in there should be all the evidence we need to book him. All I wanted was a hot scoop. Come on, officer. This is embarrassing. Hmm. Well, it is his first offense. He seems sorry about it. They'll give him a stern talking to at the station and let him go. Thanks for all your help on this one. True says you can do this quest two ways. You can either wrap the crook, or you can cut the line that is connecting the drone with the Sword Legion. Interesting. I never would have thought to do that. Uh, okay, I guess I'm going into the subway now. Ooh, there's some stuff to pick up. Though. Down we go. That doesn't look good. Look at all these people limping. Punctuality, that's what I like to see. You know what we're getting into, right? Not really. All right, I'll recap. A while ago, multiple gates appeared inside the Harmony Square subway station. Most of the civilians and station workers made a run for it right then. But the Chimeras started blowing holes in the walls and the ceiling, just generally wrecking the place. There's still a few people trapped inside with all that fire and smoke. We've got to get them out. All right, follow me down to the platform. Wait, where'd she go? Oh, oh, see, I, so I can, uh, I can fail. Why do I suck? There we go. 
throwing cans into the trash can. Well, a couple anyway. Full of smoke in there. You'll want to use this. A gas man. I'll put it on. Ready? All right. We're gonna split up from here. Sure. We've got intel that a few people are trapped in this area, so I want you to take care of them first. You'll probably need your legion, so stay sharp. The other lines haven't been searched yet. I'll handle those. If you see any chimeras, you let me know ASAP, okay? I'm gonna patch into your iris just in case. Whatever you say, Alicia. All right, I'm off. Break a leg. I'm wearing a gas mask now, which means I must sound like Babe. What's still buzzing? My cup in my mouth? Oh, I'm supposed to be looking for hurt civilians. Okay. So, are there any here? I guess I need to go down. Can't see shit. Injured man! I've come to help! That does it! I'm off trains forever! I've got you, don't worry! I'll carry you back to safety! I'm sure your broken foot can handle these stairs just fine. <laughs> I can take him from here. Thanks for taking time out of your investigation. Just walk it off. A broken ankle. the hell is that? How do I... Oops. What the hell's a button? What the hell is the button to make it pull me? Not that. There it is. Didn't help. I need a different legion, one that I don't have. Not the, not the arrow guy, is it? I don't shoot the arrow through the thing, do I? No. Legion I don't have yet? Okay. I'm only at 6% red matter cleanup. That's pretty abysmal. I need to go back down these stairs and look for more civilians. I feel like I was going past the area where they're at.
Get the. Oh, you son of a bitch. Smoke's hard to see through. Have the puppy dog legion yet? Can't dig. What's that? I found a hole in the wall. Can't, okay, I can't help heal these guys, so I have to fight them. Hey, who the hell are you? Uh, did that lookout fall asleep again or what? Can't let you tell anyone about this place. So we're going to make it really hard for you to talk, period. That's not the button. I've been shocked! God, these guys suck. your back and get dead meat next time we see you. It's not that the buttons are annoying, it's just that I don't play the game often enough to remember what they are. <laughs> so I keep on mashing the wrong button to do something else. Found premium material code. Oh yeah, I need to upgrade my stuff. Keep forgetting to do that. All right, well that was nifty. Can't see anything. Too much smoke. This way, then. Mm. That's a good idea. How do we get inside this train? That's how. Oh, 
open the door. Big guy. Uh, okay. Not that. I shot a thing and it made the thing go away. Hello, anyone? Oh, good. You'll get me out of here safe, right? Why would they put that on a train? That is a very good question. This is, it. This is gonna be a long walk for her. Way to carry her, make this go a little faster. Uh oh, I can't pick that up. Kill it! ZR, that's, that's the button I'm looking for. Ow! Kill it! Looks like ZL is the button I'm looking for. ZR is my attack button. Almost made it, lady. Wow, it's like all that smoke is nothing to you. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Literally. Iris, okay, looks like that bunch is safe. Iris, Head farther in and see down. if there's anyone else. I'm counting on you. Iris, start up. I guess I go through the train this way. Maybe not? How do I get out? I don't know where I'm going. That ought to be, it looks like there ought to be a way to get through here. Am I crazy? Let me through! Gotta go around? Okay. Thank you. I wanna know where Hal is. Did he get his drone busted in the astral plane again?
this way, maybe? This looks like the right way to go. The box. Did I just reach out and shoot that box? I can't see. see the thingy that's the, where the, where's the generator thingy that I shot at last time I saw one of these That did nothing. Broke the barrel. Information display. Iris, shut down. I found somebody who's hurt. Huh? Um, what? The hell are those? Ow. I can't get away. They're not chimeras or anything. Frogs are just like that in this universe. <laughs> to the he's oh I thought it's a dead man dazed man please you gotta get me out of here nobody else has shown up Yeah, Arm just grabbed the, that chimera and pulled it to me. That was crazy. 
Have I thought about streaming horror games before? Uh, I did do that for Halloween a couple years ago, and it sucked. <laughs> I know it makes for good for good stream bait, but it, I hate it. <laughs> I don't know what we would have done without you. You can leave the rest to us. We played, we started, it, actually no, you know what, it wasn't Friday the 13th, I mean, it wasn't uh, uh, Halloween, it was Friday the 13th. Do you copy? Because we played... Data because, well, I'm kind of, uh, completely surrounded by snarling chimeras, <laughs> so if you could come help me out, and maybe, uh, step on it, that'd be great. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I, we played, uh... We started the day by playing Friday the 13th, the game, because that's, it was Friday the 13th, in October, I think, um, and uh, the game wasn't scary, it was just goofy fun, so we switched gears and played, uh, oh, what did we switch to? Something, something terrible, something just terrifying. What was that? Oh. Please don't die, Alicia. Keep pushing the wrong buttons. Ow. I think it was Outlast. That does sound right. Kill it! I did it! This will definitely go a lot smoother with a legion around. Alright, let's get back to work. We can rest after we stop that Camaro. I was hot on the trail of our mad bomber when those rejects from the pound showed up. It can't have gone too far. Let's take it out. Okay. I feel like I, I ran past a lot of stuff. Oh, I can't go backwards, though. medicine okay fine 
saved my bacon back there. Thanks. <laughs> I always figured I'd be the one helping you. Call it a motherly instinct or something. Aw, oh, you didn't hear that, did you? Never mind. It's not like your old man ever picked up on it either. Let's just say uh, everything doesn't always work out the way. Oh, we do. Alicia wanted to get with Dad. Still pretty quiet around here, huh? Yeah, I know, right? I'm starting to forget whether we're on patrol or on a date. Wait, what's that? <laughs> Relax, old man. It's a joke. Yeah, yeah you're you're funny. Can't get rid of all these chimeric bastards fast enough. Treat the whole world like this place again. These women don't even know what it was like in the old days. They've been in this shit from the moment they were born. I just wish I could keep them away from it all. Give them a peaceful life. That's why I still do it, you know? I'll build them a whole world like this with my own hands if I have to. Wow. Fatherhood's made you a big softy, huh? But you know, in this peaceful new world of yours, you're still gonna need a babysitter or something, <laughs> right? Yeah, sure, sure. But I should probably find one who can take care of herself first, don't you think? <laughs> hey, shut up! I can take care of myself! You know what? Forget it. H hey! Alicia, wait. Man, what's got into her? Oh, Max. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> nothing. Just a memory, that's all. You know, nothing was more important to him than peace. Just and shut nobody up. was more important to him than you. Screen just, just the screen is shaking. The weight of the world on your shoulders and all that. But listen, you've still got people looking out for you. Remember that. If anything is ever more than you can take, you can always come running to me, okay? <clears throat> all right, all right, let's head back. <clears throat> uh, I'm, I, is nobody else concerned about the, the screen vibrating constantly? Oh boy. The hell is that? Oh dear. Hey, where'd my gas mask go? I keep pushing the wrong button. That is not the button to mash. That is the button to mash.
Not that button. Ow. Oh, God. Not that button either. Ow. I like how every once in a while I'll just do a backflip in the middle of shooting at it just to look cool. Oh god. You see that? I'm just spamming the shoot button, but I'll do a backflip. Ow. Switch to the arm. Come on. Come on, punchy punch man. Punchy punch the bad guy. Ow, ow, that's lava. The floor is lava. Almost got it. Yeah! I wanna pick up the stuff. No, let me pick up the stuff! I'm gonna get the puppy dog legion! Or is it a cat? I can't tell. I didn't get the stuff! Damn it. It's a Doberman? Okay. Stop swiping your claws at me.
Where's it going? Oh dear. Why are you shooting over there? I can't hit it. Oh dear. Do I need to do... Maybe like this? That's not the button. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was the time to do what I was trying to do there. Why? Why do I keep stepping into that? And I can't move! Suck on that, bitch! Ow. I need health. <gasps> oh dear. Ow. Somehow I caught it on that one. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, puppy. You're mine. Oh. Seems really optimistic. I've uh, got to get my report piled. One last sweep here, and I'm heading back to <clears throat> HQ. You just uh, finish up and come back safe, okay? But hey, uh, you've got my old beast legion now. She'll take good care of you. See you back at HQ. I like Alicia. She's a good character. <gasps> I can ride the dog. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, baby. So fast. I love it. It's my favorite. Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> Where 
Where was I going? Up here. Can't hit it. I should probably get off. That's better. Where'd he go? Gotcha. Let's go for a ride. I gotta fight some banshees here. This is fun. I'm having fun. I don't know about you guys. Hey! Can anyone hear me? Look yes. who I found! Oh, okay. This way. Over here. So vulnerable and alone. I know you're out there. Oh dear. I need to ride him through that. switch to another one so that I can do this and then I can switch back I'm starting to get the hang of this oh dear he says as he runs off the edge of the platform oh no 
There was an edge there that I did not see. Uh, okay, so I need to go this way and then this way and then stop. Okay. No! Oh, I don't like this. Drink some medicine. Dodge when I get to that part? Okay. That that didn't help because I went backwards. <laughs> There we go. I just had to stop running. Just stop running. Don't try and go backwards. He stops on a dime. Okay. Okay. Just switch to another guy. Send him over. And jump. Oh, I see him. I see Hal! Everybody, I found Hal! Anyone hear me? Yet? I could use a hand here. She? Oh, the Beast Legion is a, is a she? So vulnerable, and I know you're out there. I already heard you say all of this, Hal. Shut up. I am busy hey, picking up can anyone stuff. Hear me? All right. Here. So I know you're out there. Stop it. <laughs> oh, it's you. I should have known not just anyone would answer the call. My sensors are all blown. So I couldn't tell it was you until I could see you up close. Uh, broken again. So, hey. I kind of need your help finding some missing parts again. What do you say? Help me out for old time's sake? Since my scanners are offline, why don't you use your iris instead and look around? Iris startup. How do you know about the iris, Hal? Shut what do you down. think? Find anything? Maybe, maybe you know, not. Why don't I just check your iris data myself? Whoa, wait a minute. You got the Beast Legion back on its leash, huh? That could come in handy. Take it for a walk and see if it turns anything up. So we're gonna go dig stuff up. Detect a buried item, hold CL plus move the Legion. When the Beast Legion faces the same direction as a buried item, its radar gauge moves towards the center. Uh, and then uh, the bars above and below the radar gauge get bigger the closer you get. Okay, cool. I think I found it. Find anything? Something's definitely up with the ground over there. Oh, let's have the Beast Legion dig it up. I got a battery. Or me. It's an organic motor drive battery. There's a special fermenting agent inside, but you'd probably rather not know what. Okay. Uh, I'm still missing some parts, but I'm not picking up any of them around here. Wait a second. If the Beast Legion can track sound like a dog and dig like a dog, 
It should be able to smell like a dog too, right? I mean, track by scent, not, you know, smell like a dog. <laughs> Uh, with a scent tracking item, give Beast Legion a scent with the A button. Okay. Here, boy. Go find this battery thingy. Go find more stuff like that. Or, sorry, girl. It thing. I'm not sure what gender the beast is. That was cool. Just let us right to it. That's everything. Now bring him on home, would you? What is that? What the hell? Ow. Dig this up. Kill that one. Get over here. Dig it up. Dig the thing up. Please dig it up. Huh. Oh, look at him ripping out the chess pieces. It's so cute. Hopefully that's the last of those. Um, alrighty. Where are you going? Did you pick up the red matter. It does, Hal. Like this. Next time, I'll make it up to you, I swear. It... Hey, wait a second. I'm getting a faint bio signal nearby. Man, the noise in here is crazy. But this signal's definitely human. The Beast Legion must have dragged someone else in before you made it roll over. Time but it did. the day, huh? Let's go. Well, unless we didn't see it do that. Okay, not going that way. This way, Hal.
Fragments of a pillar of astral matter that was split into three. Use your astral chain to drag the parts together again. Oh boy. No, don't do that. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, man. I want to be able to pet Hal. I like that idea, Steel Neko. Maybe Hal should become the new... the new bot for the channel. Oh, my puppy's stuck. <laughs> supposed to do here oh I gotta pull out my arm oh I have to do this what what the what the what Right stick. There we go. Now you're doing. Now we're cooking with fire. Don't do that. Hal is a useless Roomba. Guys, come on. What's with all the Hal hate? Huh? You can kind of hear him hoovering the air as he hovers next to me. Oh, Hal. brought here to be archived someday they'll return to earth to hunt and bring back others to make like them as chimeras so this whole place is made of people how anthropocentric of you not only humans 
But everything on Earth comes here. The Earth isn't being corrupted, or whatever you might call it. It's being brought here, bit by bit. Or should I say, brought back here. Think of this as a storage unit, kept by unknowable masters. Our extinction is merely their reorganization. <laughs> when you think of it that way, it doesn't seem so bad, does it? What no, is happening? It doesn't seem so bad. People are... The whole planet is... It's being destroyed. It is. So now what will you do about it? This place is vast, far larger than planet Earth. Infinite, for all intents and purposes. A tide the likes of which you can't imagine swells before you. How long do you think you'll last against it? But... we have to... By the way, how is the other twin? Still alive, then, I take it. That's too bad. I can still remember when I first heard about you two. Twins, brought into the world right in the middle of the pandemic, as it ravaged Zone 09 20 years ago. Am I mistaken? You were born during the pandemic? Oh, those two are quite famous in scientific circles. The Devil's Children, born from corruption, they said. Jesus, that's... If that brave officer hadn't taken you under his wing, you'd probably still be strapped to a lab table. And yet... Yes. You've grown so much. But I... I haven't changed since that day. I'll give you some parting advice. Your power... ...is not the blessing you think it is. Be very careful... ...especially around that man. Take a long look at that. Nice business card. Next is up to you. I saw somebody asking about sending fan art to me. That is absolutely possible. I, I have a P.O. box that you can send stuff to. Information for that is on kylemccarley.com slash contact or kylemccarley.com slash autographs. Found something. I mean, we all know we're not actually going to catch Jenna here, right? It's <laughs> not how this works, is it? <laughs> You're quite persistent, aren't you? You just stood there and waited for me? That was nice of you. Today. I can't let you catch me just yet. What's that? Ooh, I like the soundtrack here. Why 
Why didn't I jump on the beast? Run away! Smacked it and it died. Whew. Where'd Hal go? Where's my buddy? Ah, there you are. I've been trying to get a hold of you. How are things going down there? Oh, hey, uh, the civilians who got trapped in the subway are all right. Jenna got away before we could catch her, but... Hey, wait, wait is that a... drone? Hey, hey, who is this? What are you doing on this channel? Oh, uh, I, I... I'm just a friend. Wait a minute. No civilian should be able to access this channel, and I think I know that stutter. You're from the technical division. How, right? What? I'm not the... <coughs> How who? I'm just... Uh... Just an innocent bystander. Okay, now I know it's you. The ace programmer of the technical division, who never actually comes into the office. You know, for someone who stays inside all the time, you sure do manage to get in a lot of trouble. Okay, this may be the first you've heard of him, but Hal's one of us. He's a programmer in Neuron's technical division. Neuron snatched him up from high-tech forensics because he can code circles around everyone else. But, uh, meat space isn't really his scene. Most people don't even know he exists. And everyone who does thinks he's a weirdo. So it's nice that you two have made friends. Well, nice for him, at least. Hey, I can still hear you, you know. Aha. Uh -huh. So you He has a lappy sticker? Then, Hal? What, no, I... <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Hal. Okay, Alicia's on her way back now. I'll get the details from her. Come on home, but be careful around Hal. His geekiness might be contagious. And Hal, you should come by the station more often too. Maybe even in person sometime. See you. Has she gone? Man, tough crowd. That was, um, the, the one with the pink hair, right? She seems interesting. Oh, he's totally got a crush on her. I better head on back too. Hey, let me see that data card for a sec. Okay, I've copied over all the data. Here's your card back. I'm thinking we should keep this whole data card business on the down low. I mean, sure, Jenna is crazy, but I can't stop thinking about what she said. Be very careful around that man. 
Maybe there's something on this card that'll tell us why. I'll take a look and fill you in on the juicy bits later. Bye, Hal. Well, we finished file five. We missed two red cases and two blue cases. Not bad. Not bad. How did he fly off with a ceiling overhead, True? I don't know. Crowley, what are you barking at, buddy? Oh, wow, we got a lot of stuff here. I think we should look through some of this. Arc data file number 000103. February 2043. Earth found itself faced with a disaster brought about by a meteor impact that opened the gates to the astral plane. Matter, the likes of which Earth has never seen, leaks through the gates as a tos <laughs> toxic miasma, twisting everything it touches, eventually become beyond recognition. We have come to call this process redshift. At the current rate, redshift poses a very significant threat to our species. Not a word of this came as a surprise to me, and yet I had thus, for, thus far been powerless to stop it. I must confess, my judgment at the time was clouded. The prophets, those who find the future written in the past, they sought me out for my research. After all, we share an interest in human evolutionary potential. They had much to tell me about the true history of our species. They say that humankind flourishes now like it has twice before. The previous two times it met with utter ruin, weighed in the balance and found wanting. The gates present a third such test. Not that I took these prophecies at their lit literal word, not at first. After all, their means are not scientific. However, even I cannot deny that all they foretold came to pass. I pledge to them, to my species, that I would do all in my power to stop this extinction, to save humankind. And they told me, Build an ark. At their guidance, I gathered a considerable staff and constructed a new home where humankind found refuge from what might have been our doom. It has been an arduous undertaking, far beyond even myself. But luckily, I now have allies that I can trust to the grave. Now is the time for us to greet our future. Excerpt from Dr. Yosef Calvert's Collected Notes, per Aspra ad Arkham. Arc data file number 000129. Megafloat arc operational. In the early morning hours of Thursday, July 23rd, 2043, construction on the artificial island known as the Ark was finally completed. The Ark represents the combined efforts of all nations to protect humanity from the threat of corruption from the gates. Representatives of all the interim Union World Government say they hope to begin welcoming residents as soon as possible. As of this writing, the Ark is moored offshore near Valparaiso, Chile. I hope I said that right. Selected residents, having cleared checks for data corruption, boarded Union patrol boats to make their fir the first step towards their new homes this morning. The Ark will cease accepting new residents at 3 p.m., and prepare for the voyage to its permanent location far out in the, into the Pacific Ocean, where experts say corruption will never reach. The Union will resume accepting new residents once the Ark is in position, according to one Union official. He added that interested citizens should refer to Union notices for further information. Newspaper excerpt, uh, July 24th, 2043. Gates to a new scientific renaissance. 
Easy though it is to assume that the gates bring nothing but disaster to our planet, such an assumption disregards the tremendous technological advancements they've made possible. One of these ad advancements is the x a portable weapon of unparalleled flexibility, now standard issue for our police force. Thorough research into the gates has led to whole new fields of scientific study, particularly the exciting field of astral dynamics. We've even been able to harness some of the astral spark, the energy given off by the gates, and turn it towards human ends. The Expaton itself is one such end. Powered as it is by the astral spark, the Expaton can affect the gates in ways conventional weapons can't. With enough force, it can even be used to destroy gates, closing them for good. Our police carry considerable extra-dimensional power in the palms of their hands. This is but one of the ways that we have learned to turn the power of the gates themselves to our own advantage. Excerpt from Dr. Joseph Calvert's Collected Notes per Aspera Ad Arkham. I wish I knew who was speaking when I started reading the file. <laughs> Anti-Redshift Medication the Union government began distributing new anti-redshift medications to citizens of the Ark on March 1st, 2058. This comes as a response to an uptick in markedly severe cases of redshift, believed to be caused by greater concentrations of corruption in the environment following recent gate appearances. The medicine, developed by a team of specialists at the Aegis Research Institute, may reduce the effects of exposure to gate miasma by up to 80% with one weekly dose. However, the ARI warns that they cannot guarantee similar effectiveness in cases of direct contact with aberration. Newspaper expert. Excerpt. May 2nd, 2058, I think. Arc Zone 9 Residual Corruption Examination Report, Aegis Research Institute, Counter-Corruption Department Head, April 27th, 2078. Goals of the examination. To determine the level of data corruption still present in Zone 9, 20 years after the pandemic and the feasibility of living quarant lifting quarantine. Examination period, 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock, uh, yeah, 4 o'clock, April 20th through 23rd, 2078. Equipment used, Integrated Reality Imaging System, IRIS. Staff, examination leader, redacted, 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 redacted. Results of the examination. 63 locations within 500 square meters of Zone 9 were flagged to indicate high amounts of corruption. These locations present a particularly high risk of dimensional instability, and examination staff visually confirmed the presence of several gates. The chance of chimeric invasion in these locations is five times higher than that in Grand Avenue, one of the areas outside of the exclusion zone most susceptible to chimeric attack. A previous inspection conducted ten years prior found 49 such areas. The results of this inspection suggest that the level of corruption within Zone 9 is indeed increasing over time. It is unknown whether the deposits of red matter found within Zone 9 have remained there since the pandemic, or whether they are new deposits. Tests on samples have thus been inconclusive. These results suggest that Zone 9 is in no way ready for the quarantine to be lifted. We suggest continuing to observe the conditions in the zone remotely while working towards an effective decontamination solution. People on the rooftops? Have you heard rumors of the people called the Uppers? Supposedly, they make their homes in illegal squats on the tops of buildings in the quarantined Zone 9. Whether it's true or just a figment of popular imagination, who can say? Not even the police are allowed to make routine rounds in the zone, which was put under quarantine by the Union government after the pandemic. The question must be asked, who would willfully gather and live in an area known for dangerous levels of corruption? Who are these uppers? The Union holds that any living person found in the quarantine zone is a trespasser from outside the zone and a potential danger to public safety. But some rumors suggest that the uppers are actually survivors or descendants of survivors of the pandemic 
left to rebuild after the Union walled off the zone. Supposing that were true, though, that means the Union may have left uncorrupted survivors behind to fend for themselves against the dangers of the pandemic. Could it be true? One thing's for sure, when it comes to the uppers, there's no shortage of questions, and very few answers. The quarantine, the cases far for and against. Arc Zone 9 was once a populous residential district, an easy place to live with both work and leisure near at hand. It remained that way for 15 years when the Ark's worst nightmare came true. Uncountable numbers of civilians in Zone 9 redshifted in a very short time in what came to be called the Pandemic, still the largest disaster in the history of the Ark. The Ark's designers were prepared for this possibility and had a system in place to prevent heavy corruption from spreading from zone to zone. Zone 9 was swiftly sealed off from the surrounding areas with heavy quarantine walls. Luckily, the Zone 9 pandemic is the only time the Union has found it necessary to use these walls. Thanks to these walls, zones that neighbor Zone 9 show no significantly higher levels of corruption than zones farther away. In that regard, the walls are a vital part of public safety on the Ark. But, on the other hand, independent sources suggest that survivors of the pandemic may remain alive in Zone 9, redshift free but sealed off from the outside arc by the very same walls. If they're in there, the Union does not acknowledge them and will not open the wall. If these rumors are true, they implicate the Union government in a wide-scale cover-up. One hopes to believe that in erecting the walls around Zone 9, the Union exercised their better judgment for the good of the arc. All on the Ark are subject to their rule. Let us hope it is a benevolent and honest rule. Watch out for hackers. A notice from the Ark Police. Reports of damages caused by a hacker group calling themselves the Hermits are increasing throughout the Ark. We in the Ark Police vow to expand our investigations into hacker activities. Until the individuals responsible are brought to justice, we ask that all citizens take great care in their use of all electronic devices and computer networks. Be sure to change your personal passwords often, especially those tied to banking services. Be warned, the hermits are prepared to use any manner of trickery to acquire your personal information. A skilled hacker can steal your password and commandeer your information in a matter of seconds. Signs you may be under hacker attack. You find records of bank withdrawals you don't remember making. Credit card and cash chip histories show unexplained transactions. You receive receipts from delivery orders you don't remember placing. You find your cash chip suddenly unusable. If you have evidence that could be useful in investigations against the hermits, contact the ARC police at the ARC police at redacted right away. Please do not attempt to contact the police via electronic mail, because the hermits may be reading it right now. And we got some duty reports. Is this report really necessary? More practice with the big puppet today. Hooray. Maximilian Howard. It's been half a year and I still can't get the damn thing to obey orders. Commander says psychological resonance or some such nonsense is necessary, and that's why we gotta be chained to it. No idea what it even wants, though. I should give up. I have more luck getting my kids to do what I say than this thing. Maybe I should start thinking of the thing as an ordinary kid or something. Couldn't be any less effective than what I'm doing now. I'll give that a shot tomorrow. Maximilian Howard. Case reports, C-00012, status closed. Investigation log, filed. Log ID, a bunch of numbers and letters. Summary, disposal of one humanoid chimera and four civilian aberrations in Grand Avenue, Zone 36. Officers involved, Max Howard, Jin Wong, Alicia Lopez. Paperwork was properly filed and authorization granted prior to the disposal of the aberrations. 
Captain Howard handled the disposal of all targets. Due to a malfunction in Captain Howard's la log apparatus during action, no direct log remains. However, we were able to requisition footage from surrounding security cameras. This footage is submitted in lieu of a formal log. We were unable to confirm a dramatic increase in corruption in the area, and thus withdrew, leaving decontamination to the cleanup crew. Beyond the four aberrations, no civilian injuries are recorded. Captain Howard was lightly injured in the conflict, but no more than he usually is. Notes. We could really use more officers capable of responding to incidents like this one. I'm aware that the issue is one of control, namely our inability to control the legions beyond stopping them from going berserk. I'm also aware that even that is a fairly recent development. Officer Wong has made more progress than the rest of us in accurately guiding his legion. Maybe I should pay more attention to the captain's training, too. If nothing else, I'll try to stay out of the way and not make anything worse. Alicia Lopez. I didn't know she was the one talking until the last little bit of that. Let's, let's see. So this is Alicia. Case reports. C-13281 status closed. Investigation log filed. Summary. Arrest of two Hermits gang members in the act of vandalizing an ATM. Officers involved Alicia Lopez, Billy Williams. Two conventional police officers were injured by the suspects before Neuron arrived. One officer suffered a fractured right tibia. The other received several surface wounds and expects to recover in one week. Alicia Lopez. C-13285, status closed, investigation log filed, summary. Pursuit and arrest of one, of, of one hermit's gang member engaged in grand theft auto. Officers involved Alicia Lopez. I performed the arrest following search support from police helicopters. With consideration for the surrounding area, I tailed the suspect to Zone 21, point RD254716, before forcing the stolen car to a stop with electromagnetic disruptor rounds. Suspect's erratic driving during the attempted getaway caused multiple accidents across several zones, but luckily no civilians were injured. Alicia Lopez. LT-083, status transferred to outside jurisdiction. Investigation log filed. Summary. Missing, properly invest missing property investigation. No chimeric activity could be confirmed in the course of the investigation, so I handed the case over to the Zone 36 precinct to treat as a normal case. Officers involved Alicia Lopez. Notes. Though most previous reports of hermit activity only involved computer-related crimes, Recently, we've had more and more reports of their involvement in direct and even violent criminal activity. The change is cause for concern. The conventional police are completely unable to keep up with the hermits, and they give even us in Neuron trouble. We should investigate the source of their newfound strength before they get any bolder. It may even warrant an investigation into their supposed base of operations in Zone 9. Ooh. A password-protected file. I have no idea what that would be. Same with that one. Same with that one. Huh. Can't get into those ones. Public affairs records. Lappy's Christmas Eve 2077. What do you know? It's Christmas Eve. But chimeras don't celebrate... Oh, wait. Lappy kind of has that, that dialect thing, huh? What do you know? It's Christmas Eve, but chimeras don't celebrate Christmas, so Neuron can't take the night off to soak in the holiday season either. And old Lappy's right here with you. Why, I can't think of a better way to spend the holidays than hunkering down here in the office with all of you. There's no present nicer than a job well done, right? Right? But it is Christmas after all, so I made cookies. I know last year's weren't exactly the tastiest. Who could forget Joey's hilarious impression of a guy vomiting? But I've been working my recipe, and I think this batch is perfect. I can't wait until you're all back so I can spread some Christmas cheer. And don't you worry if you don't, didn't get Lappy anything. Your smiling faces are the only present I need. Even yours, Joey. Sincerely yours, Lappy. 
activity report, civilian seminar, location, ARC Police Headquarters, 10F, date, December 25th, 2077, title, How You Can Avoid Redshift. Summary. Unfortunately, not many people attended. Hold on. Oh, it's, it's Marie, okay. Uh, unfortunately, not many people attended. Maybe it was the date? Let's say it was an intimate, conversational environment. The usual crowd of old folks showed up to share some of their hard-earned wisdom, so all in all, I'd call the seminar a success. I went over how to tell whether an area is dangerously corrupted or not, and what to do if you think you're starting to redshift, and most of the audience listened. Note, Lappy was not present for this lecture. In other news, I can't help but notice that nobody ate any of Lappy's Christmas cookies last night. He told me he got so tired of following you all around the office with a plate full of cookies that he just plain overheated. It's a lot of running around for a dog like Lappy to do in the middle of summer. Lappy asked me to thank Captain Mask, Max, the one kind soul with enough Christmas spirit to stop for a cookie. Lappy went ahead and let him have everyone else's, too. If you missed out, well, maybe next year. I thought I'd ask him how they tasted, but he doesn't seem to be here today. He must have one of those Christmas summer colds going around the Ark. But don't worry, Lappy's already whipped up some more sweets for him since he liked the last one so much. Marie Wentz. Or, yeah, it's Marie, right? So, Jay was suggesting the codes from the previous files. I'm not sure why it would be that, though. Do I want the code? Where did you get it? That's my question. I don't want to know the code just because you know the code. I want to know the code because I'm at a point in the game where I should know it. You know what I mean? The twins' birthdays? Oh. I don't know what that is. I'll have to I'll have to find that out at another time. Thank you. Hey, is uh, now a good time? Uh, come find me on the roof. I need to talk to you. Uh, we are not going to do that right now, Al. We are going to call it a day. But first, I'm going to save. Yeah, it's it's a it sounds like it's a long chapter. It's a very Hal chapter. Um, we will we will pick this one up on the next broadcast, which I will talk to you guys about in a little bit. But uh, let's cut over to the couch camera. Um, it is, oh, there's a raid coming in just as we get to the, uh, just as we get to the, the Q&A portion of the stream. Two Breaths Walk is raiding with a party of six people. Hello, welcome for, welcome to the last, the, the, just the tail end of this stream. Um, especially because Crowley is pouting at me over there. Uh, I got time for a few questions at the moment, so if anybody in the chat has questions to ask, now is the time to fire them at me. Um, I don't have my phone on me. I'm I'm gonna say right now. I believe you know what I can pull this up. I can look at my calendar from here. Uh, let's see. So next week is a big a big weekend for Happy Hour Tavern. Like I mentioned, it's the uh, it's the beginning of our feature on the front page of Twitch. Uh, so. If you guys are interested in board games and or Warcraft and or just hanging out with me, uh, be sure to tune in to the Happy Hour Tavern on war on twitch.tv slash Warcraft Radio uh, Saturday morning at um, at 10 a.m. Pacific time. By the way, nice mouse pad. I showed this off. This this was a gift from the, the convention staff at uh, Anime California. 
It's mob with two balls of takoyaki. <laughs> um, so we are going to be playing some stuff all month long uh, over there on the front page of Twitch. So uh, partially because of that, partially because I want to get through some more Astral Chain and I want to do it a little faster so that I don't keep forgetting what the buttons are. Um, I think I'm going to try and stream on a consistent basis on this channel uh, on the weekends. I'm going to aim for Saturday afternoon, um, but if something comes up, like I have a script deadline, like what happened yesterday, I may have to, um, I may have to, you know, delay things a little bit, but I'm going to aim for Saturday afternoons at uh at 3 p.m pacific time through the month of october that's my goal uh we may get some more people we may not i don't know um just because of happy hour tavern being on being featured i'm going to talk about the fact that i'll be playing astral chain on there so maybe people who are tuned in will will uh will come join us for that i don't know we'll see but that's the plan is saturday afternoons at 3 p.m that's what I'm going to target. Things might change. We'll see. Uh, it's not D&D, &D, Violet In Inspector. It's, it's board games. And this month, we are focusing on the World of Warcraft trading card game, um, and uh, which, which is now defunct. It's been replaced by Hearthstone. So we're going to be playing that, and we're going to be playing my, my good friend Dustin's game, Don't Let It Die, again. We just played it yesterday, and we'll play it again towards the end of the month of October uh, once his Kickstarter goes live. So that's that's the plan. Oh, you have a D&D &D thing at the same... Okay, I gotcha. Uh, so, scrolling back through the chat to see if anybody's asked any questions. When's your birthday? I want to send you something for it. December 5th. That's my birthday. Uh, anybody else have any questions? Blinksy has a question, but can't see the video right now, so can't ask it. Wait, here we go. Here's the question. Do you ever struggle with, like, stuttering over yourself when, re when recording audiobooks or just reading long amounts of text in general? I feel like whenever I try to read anything out loud, I stumble over my words, and I was wondering if that's something you ever had issues with or if you're just naturally good at reading things coherently. Um, so... Yeah, uh, for those who don't know, I used to do a whole lot of audiobooks in the earlier parts of my career. I haven't done one in a little over a year now. Um, I, uh, uh, ba, 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 da, ba, da. what was I going to say? Oh, um, the best way to get good at reading stuff, at cold reading, basically, is what you're talking about, which is just reading large amounts of text and making it sound conversational and not fumbling over your words. The best way to get good at that is to practice it a lot. Uh, I, before I ever got paid to do audiobooks, I read the, the entire Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series out loud to myself um, just while I was lying in bed one night. I did a whole lot of reading stuff out loud. Um, and another trick that will help is just think, consciously think, slow down. Don't try and race through everything. Just just kind of get a nice even pace when you're reading, and that'll help you get through stuff a little bit easier. Uh, Kurazar wants to know if I've played my card game on stream. My card game, Gladi Aliens. No, um, I don't think so. Because of the fact uh, of figuring out how to do that is tricky. Um, I have a theory on how we might be able to do that on our show at some point, but, uh, but we're not there yet. Um, and I need to do a little bit more developing on it. I need to figure out a prototype for, cause I've been using, uh, I have, I have a physical, so for those who don't know, I made a card game called Gladi Aliens, which the box is not in here or I would show it off or is it? Is it on my desk? Oh, here it is. I found it. Gladi Aliens. Get that nice and close to that very bright light. Um, this is a game that I designed using Tabletop Simulator. 
uh, which is a game you can get on Steam. You can play it on there uh, in a digital format. Uh, and basically, the core mechanic is that uh, everybody has a shape card that they can't see, but everybody else can. Um, and figuring out a way to do that on a stream is tricky. Uh, I have a, a, a kind of an idea of how I might pull it off. But, um, but anyway, b just because of the fact that we have monitors in front of us on Happy Hour Tavern, where we see everything that the viewers see, and if the viewers see all of our shape cards, that's a problem. But um, I have an idea for making it work, for, for figuring out a way for us to not see what exactly what the viewers see. Um, but uh, one issue that I've run into in playtests with this game lately, in, in, the, in the physical release, is that uh, I'm using little card stands to display people's shape cards. Um, so setting those cards up on the table on a little stand where you're behind it and everybody else can see it. But the problem with that is that it's really easy to knock them over or and, and then accidentally see them somehow and then you've got and then you've kind of ruined the game mechanic because then you've got to get rid of the card and get a new one and it's like a free shape card change, which doesn't really work. Um, so what I want to do is figure out a way to print up some prototype headbands to put around because I think that'll be more fun anyway and it'll be it'll work a little bit better so that's how you that's where you display your cards for each other and and I think I just haven't had time to really look into it delve into it but I think there's a way to make those headbands just with like printer paper and stuff and that might be the direction that I'm going to head in but I'm a ways off of that from that at the moment uh, so yeah, that anyway, that's a long diatribe talking to one specific person because nobody else cared. <laughs> um, let's see, scrolling back up. Blinksy says, also, I feel like my throat just gets super tired pretty quickly into reading. Uh, take breaks, sip some water, that helps. Um, have you listened to the Near Orchestra CDs yet? They're so beautiful. I have not, but uh, the soundtrack is gorgeous. Have you ever practiced your voice acting for Alm? How many times? Um, I practiced, no, I, and I don't really have a reason to practice because the gig is over now. Um, voicing Alm is, is pretty much done. Occasionally they bring me back in for uh, for some stuff for Higher, for Higher Emblem Heroes, like the, the whatever, the, the Brave Alm armor or whatever it's called. Whatever that thing was, that the the, the the voting gauntlet thing that just happened a little while ago, they brought me in for some more voice work for that not that long ago. Um, but that's, uh, other, other than that, I'm kind of done voicing all of that kind of stuff. Hi, yes, I hear you squeaking away at your toy. There's Crowley, everybody. Um, <laughs> but, uh... I, when when I go in for something like that that I haven't done in a while, they do play vocal reference for me of stuff that we already recorded to help me get back into the voice. Um, scrolling on down, did Platinum Studio Dub Team reach out to you about Astral Chain? Uh, I auditioned for the role of Hal. I also auditioned for the roles of male Akira player character and Jin, I think. Um, and those auditions were recorded from home, uh, and then, uh, and then they cast me, and then I went in, but I did get to work with a couple members of the Platinum Games team on Astral Chain, which was different, because I did not get to work with any of them on Nier, uh, they, they just, they were not in, involved in the dubbing process for, in the, in the recording process for the English voiceover for Nier, but they, they were heavily involved in Astral Chain, um, and uh, and I'm not positive, but I do believe that my work as 9S had some influence on getting cast as Hal, I think, because uh, they were obviously familiar with my with my work on that. Uh, who's a better doggo, Lappy or Beast Legion? Oh, but they're so different. I don't know. Lappy is so friendly, and Beast Legion is so helpful. 
Oh, God. And Crowley is such a nightmare. Leave the cat alone. Uh, scrolling on down to look at some other questions. Have you practiced? Uh, yeah, I already answer that. I miss your Overwatch streams. Can that be an impromptu stream sometime? I, I've got so little time for impromptu streams lately because I'm spending so much time. I've been, I've been uh, writing script. At, I've done, been doing script adaptation for one show in my spare time, and then I'm also directing for another anime, uh, which is that's not really spare time. It's during business hours, but it's during basically all of the business hours that I'm not doing acting. So it's like I have a full-time job for the first time in, or well, not really the first time in my life, but the first time in a very long time. Um, and that means I don't have a whole lot of free time for just playing video games, uh, which is why I had to push this stream so many times. So, yeah, <laughs> I, would, I would love to, but uh, we'll see when that happens. Kyle, how is Simon doing? Right now he's being chased by Crowley and he's not happy about it. Uh, yeah, Crowley has gotten very big. He's, I think he's like one and a half times the size of Simon now. And when we got him, he was, I think, a little bit smaller than Simon. Um, how's Kira doing? I actually just saw her last night. Uh, she's going to be doing a digital autograph signing on Unlocked this week. I think this week, maybe next week. Um, and we got together to, to sign some some of our special near prints for each other. I don't think I have any in this room. Um, but it's a really cool deluxe print that uh, I do not offer on my website. Those you can only get from me at, uh, at a convention appearance, an autograph appearance or something like that. Or you can get them from Kira. Um, and you could get them from that unlocked signing, I believe. Uh, and they're really gorgeous prints done by an artist named Sarah Fleur. Uh, and they've got both 9S and 2B on them and both of our signatures on them. So if you're interested in one of those, check her out on, on the unlocked signing later this week or next week. I'm not sure which. Uh, it's not a digital autograph. It is a physical autograph. The, the way that they do it, I'm, I'm really not the right person to talk about this because I have not done it and I have no interest in doing it really, uh, especially because you can get autographs from me for free. Well, not, yeah, I mean, I can sign your stuff for you for free um, if you send it to my P.O. box and I can sign prints for you cheaper if you go through the P.O. box through my website. But the way that the, uh, that the digital signings on Unlocked work, oh, you demon, you demon. Don't bite my hand. Go get it. Um, the way that those digital signings work, to my understanding, are you buy like a digital ticket. You get a little bit of one-on-one -on -one FaceTime with the person who's doing the signing. Um, and then they sign whatever the, the piece is that you're purchasing from them right there while you're looking at them one-on-one -on, -one on camera. And then Unlocked will mail you that print uh, so that you get a physical copy. Um, that's, that's my understanding of how that works. Uh, do, 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 scrolling through and then that's, that's it. I'm caught up on the chat. I'm caught up on all the questions. That is going to do it for this week's broadcast. Let's aim for next Saturday. Is it available to non-Americans? I don't know the answer to that question, Steel Neko. You would have to ask Unlocked. I don't know. Not, not my thing. Uh, so that's going to do it for this week's broadcast. Be sure to catch me on Happy Hour Tavern next week at 10 a.m. Um, Pacific time. That is, uh, that's going to be a big one. We're going to have a whole lot of new people tuning in. Um, if you're not one of our regulars yet, I, I hope you will become one over the course of this month with a bunch of other new people. That'll be fun. Uh, and... After that, at around, I think, 3 o'clock Pacific time in the afternoon on Saturday, October 5th, I will be popping on to play through File 6. So, I'll see you guys for some more Astral Chain next week, and hopefully I'll see you for some board games the morning, that, that same morning. 
Thanks, guys. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Oh boy. Oh no, I need to get the other other connection. Derek's doing thing. something crazy. Oh no. Oh no. Kyle. Kyle did it. Yeah, Kyle did it. Kyle spilled beer all over. Kyle, 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 Kyle. Kyle. reach for it. Cause I, I don't know. Cause he could have, the camera could have swiveled slightly. Yeah. yeah I don't know why he lunged for it. <laughs> it's hard to yeah, we need more. I, uh, shh. Fine, I'm here. I'm here first, bud. Kyle McCarley. This is why we can't have nice things, Kyle. Yeah. Which one will it be? A rival tribe snuck into your camp and tried to steal your meat. Roll the fire die and remove that many meat tokens from the group supply. We don't have any meat. Yeah, so they failed, so... You came to the wrong yeah, place. Wrong place. Punk. We're the we're the very brigade tribe. That's right. <laughs> Officially. So yeah. guess what? We're changing our names oh. to Berry Brigade Boys. You got it. <laughs> you heard it on this episode first. For they the Berry Brigade they Boys. They would have taken one me. We're gonna do it again, real quick, Dustin. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh God. <laughs> no. All right, we're going live, folks, in Chopper Five here in Azeroth. <laughs> We got eyes on Kyle McCarley coming in and, uh, all right, that's enough. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for okay. indulging us, folks. So, that was fun. I'm fighting, I had a good time. I did too. I'm fighting Dyke Dark. We have fun. <laughs> From our oh, yeah. overlay for the moment. All right. Kill it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and uh, the first player card moves to Eric. What, are you, what the hell? <laughs> My fish. Sorry, no, we don't have fish in this game. <laughs> but why is there fish? I don't know. Uh, it's my turn. Okay. During this time, you're gonna be learning things like fire's hot, how to cook what? things. Get your phone out of the shot. <laughs> you put your phone in the camera. Right in the. <laughs> I'm like, why is Ky what is Kyle showing us? I started to read your text messages. I was trying to figure out what you're doing. I'm trying to pull up. The, I was trying to get my Discord announcement. So I apologize. Please. This is continue. why we can't have nice things. <laughs>